Hey guys, Jen here. I am making um, a restock soap. Well, it's not a restock. It's actually uh, for a wholesale order. Um, but I've made it recently. And this is the coffee soap. And I thought I would bring you guys along. Um, sometimes I don't always perk my coffee. Like, I don't have time. Because um, I'm not a coffee drinker. And so what I do is I put my coffee ground, grounds in uh, with my water before I put the lye in there and then the heat from this heating up from the lye uh, actually makes coffee. So um, there is a couple t and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this out to remove the coffee grounds and I'll use fresh coffee grounds in the soap but for now I need to grab my coffee fragrance and get that measured out for this batch uh, because I forgot to do that I'm using French vanilla coffee from Be Scented I use about 0.8 ounces per pound so for my 55 ounce batch, I use roughly two and a half to 2.75 ounces. This actually ended up being 2.6. Because, you know, sometimes when you're measuring, um, you know, it doesn't always turn out the best. So we're going to use the hot lye water to melt our oils here. And I'm gonna strain this. You guys have actually never seen this process before, so I thought I would bring you along. I've done it many different ways. I may have put too many coffee grounds in this one. There's not many left. They mostly float. And if a few, yeah, there's not many. If a few gets down in here, it's okay. Because I'm going to use it anyways um, when I make the soap. I'm going to use coffee grounds anyways. I'm just going to give this a little stirry stir there to get some of that moved out of the way so it will strain the rest. There we go. Now I'm going to move this to the sink and I'll just rinse it down the drain. No big issues. I've never had. Everybody, you know, do their own thing. I'm going to let that water run for just a second. I'm going to show you guys our new spoonulas. Aren't they the cutest? I'll show you the difference. So we have the spoon spatulas, which have the square edge. And we got new spinulas, which are rounded. So these are new. Uh, we're excited for those. They just came in for, for Be Scented. They're on the website for purchase. Uh, the spoon spatulas are these and then the spoonulas are these. Um, there's photos, you know, on there for you to see the difference. Now, she wanted this coffee soap made like mine um, with the little embeds on top. So we are going to do that. Let me move all of these spatulas out of the way. I've got my bamboo towel, paper towels here. They're like fabulous for soap making, you guys. 
really fabulous. Um, you can wash them. They're on my Amazon account if anybody wants to know the ones that I ordered. Just judging that up. Now let's get our liquid oils in here. And our liquid oils I have already got measured and I put in my kale and clay, my oatmeal, and my um, heavy cream powder. So I'm just gonna judge this up. So it's all incorporated. Give this a scrape. Get everything out. I'm excited to be back into making soap. It's been over a month since I have made anything. I am having a sale right now on my soapy website. Um, for everybody that places an order now through July 25th, like Christmas in July, you'll get a freebie. And then also, um, I have new teal packaging um, that everybody's gift will be wrapped in. Now, I am going to add the fragrance to the whole batch. Um, the last time I did this, it did not turn out bad. Let me show you. I really like it. Somebody said it was more natural. So this is how it turned out. You guys see it on there? You can still taste. This is discolored some, but it's not bad. So I am going to add the fragrance to the whole batch. Split off. And we'll lighten the top portion with some titanium dioxide. And then um, wait for it to set up. That's going to be for our dollops down the top. Let's see, maybe just a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's add our coffee in here. heaping teaspoons titanium dioxide into this portion and then before I blend this up I'm going to pour well you know what I will go ahead and blend it and then I'll pour this in because it'll help set it up quicker. It smells amazing. This is one of my favorite soaps. And it's a great kitchen soap for the, with the coffee. All right. I'm a little bit out of my groove. not being in soaping for over a month. So I feel a little bit 
out of my element. All we need that. Let's grab a mold. Got some hard water build up on this one. We have such terribly hard water here. I hate it. But what do you do, right? Going to roughly divide this between the two. I could weigh it to be precise, but You guys know why I wing it all the time. Yeah, those look good. All right, now, as soon as this is set up enough. I'll dollop it on top, so I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to get ready for my next batch. And then I'll bring you guys back to finish this one. Okay, guys. So I have my oils and my lye and my fragrance ready for my next batch. Um, so, and we're ready to dollop this on top. And then put our embeds on. Kinda probably made too much, but that's okay. It's gonna look pretty no matter what. Definitely high tops on this one. That's okay. Looks wonderful. Okay. Now, I'm going to get our embeds. I'm gonna have to turn this towards me. You guys can still see, but I need to have it facing to me. Hello, Mama. Hello, Noah. I saw on a video. Mm hmm. Back up. Hi. Okay, I was just making sure I had enough of these. Um, are you made out of soap? Mm hmm. They are. I really wish you could make us some. I have some made. I really wish we could have some. Well, we could have a bar. Absolutely. Where are they? There's one right here. See it sitting over here? On the end of the counter? Where is it? 
Over here on the end of the counter. Over here. You're going the wrong way. Right here? Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna take my gloves off because I can't get a hold of what I'm doing. Ooh, what are those? I would like little tiny coffee beans Ooh. that I'm putting on each bar. <sighs> I'm gonna put two on there. Why do you have to stick them down in there? So they stay, they don't fall out. You say hi to everybody on YouTube? Hi! I smell, I smell it, it's good. I know, right? It smells wonderful. It's coffee soap. This coffee has chocolate in it. Well, this one does. It's like a French vanilla coffee. Mm-hmm. So, it's very sweet smelling. Why are you dropping all that stuff off of it for? Hmm? What's all that stuff I dropped off of it? Where? What the... These? Uh, Just little tiny pieces of soap from where I cut these. Why do you have to cut, cut them? Uh, because they're really deep and I don't think they need to be that big. So, Mommy cuts them. That one landed on the side. I know, I had to fix it, didn't I? Mm. I need one more. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We'll bring you for the cutting. Bye. Hello everybody. I am back to start cutting some soap. The first one is this soap right here. The coffee soap. Which eventually is going to turn really dark. Oh, I need to tighten my string. I forgot to do that. Super cute. Oh, let me grab my board. I try to handle the soaps as least as possible once they are cut before I get them on my curing rack so that um, I have the least likelihood of getting damaged. Oh gosh. And my husband just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, let's get this one cut. I didn't think he was coming home till 3.30, which is awesome that he's here early. I love it when he gets off work early. There went Noah yelling through the hall because his daddy's here. I've not tightened my wire, but it doesn't need it. This is one of my best selling soaps. I have a few bars left on my website. I'm also running a sale if anybody's interested. 
head over there. All the information is on the front of my website. Last cut on this one. I'm going to do the next loaf. Both of these are pretty much the same. It's a simple bar, but a beautiful one. And of course it has great properties. Especially for a kitchen soap. This one shall be shipped out to a wholesale customer of mine. Let me scooch these all up a little bit so I can get them all on this one row. Alright guys, thanks for watching.